The awesome new Parks Library opens soon and we went down to see what was happening as staff put the finishing touches ready for the grand opening. Deb, you're the Director of Community Development here at the City of Port Adelaide Enfield. What does this new library mean to the local community? The local community have been without a library for a really long time, Ed, so we're looking forward to people coming in here and learning a new skill, uh, meeting their friends, using our maker space, getting a book, having a meeting, joining an activity and really just having a place to, to hang out. Jaden, what is your job at the New Parks Library? Uh, to set up all the technology and get it ready for the community so they can easily access all of our resources, services and information. The usual things that you expect in a library is the collection which is all brand new, it's lovely. We've got heaps of exciting things at the moment. I'm working on access to the online catalogue throughout the library. We've also got some interactive projectors, a big surface table and lots of smart TVs everywhere. Um, and hidden below these beautiful black plastic is the most amazing colourful art which lights up at night. Um, community can come along and download an app and actually interact with the sculptures and change the colours in the evenings. I think the maker space is exciting and the recording studio because they're not things that you always get in a library. Probably the coolest thing would be the maker space. It's filled with 3D printers, laser cutters, all sorts of soldering gear. Um, you can make anything you possibly think of. We've got lots and lots of um, really cool digital technology in there. So we've got two 3D printers, we've got a laser cutter and engraver, which is seriously cool. Um, we've also got some cordless tools, like we have a, a jigsaw and a drill. Uh, and there's also lots of opportunities for unplugged making. I love the children's space and I love that there's a big toy collection that anyone can just come in and use at any time. Robert, you're a new member of staff here at the Parks Library, standing in front of the awesome courtyard that we've got here. What do you think of having the outside almost inside? What sort of activities do you think people will be doing out there? Oh, I think we'll be having lots of things happening out here. Um, not just sitting outside to read, but also uh, science experiments, um, other making activities. Community rooms can be booked by the community as well as the library service putting on programs for the community. If you've got a library card with any public library, um, you can just come in and choose your books or whatever and um, we've got uh, self checkout machines so that you can just um, do it yourself or of course staff can do it for you. So our opening day is on Saturday the 20th of October and we're looking forward to having all of the community come down and see this amazing space, see their neighbours and find out what we have to offer here. After that the library will be open seven days a week so either pop down and see us or have a look on the website because we're really looking forward to meeting you here. See you soon. So come and celebrate with us on the 20th of October as we throw open the doors to the new Parks Library.